Yo, gamers, playing some League of Legends action, at least in the jungle. You already know how it do, how it go, how it do be. I haven't chosen how I want to play the game. I did take Dark Harvest and Treasure Hunter, so I do want to be farming for early kills. But as far as where I want to be on the map, which way to start, which way to path, which lane is the most likely to be low is the question. I think into Teemo is always a good idea, whether you are on his team or not. I'm going to tell my team choosing pathing now. I'm choosing pathing now. I have a I have a double ranged bot lane into a double ranged bot lane. To me, that just it just makes sense to, to gank top. Let's put a ward down. Let's back. I'm gonna go get sweeper. I'm not sure how good this strategy is nowadays as far as sweeper. As far as backing out to get sweeper, I'm pretty sure it stays in a long cooldown, but it, it should be up by the time I go to gank top. So we roll. I'm playing for low lanes, dark harvest. Let my team know that I'm farming dark harvest. If you communicate with your team a lot in the early game, when it goes well, they call you the goat. When it goes horribly, they call you like, they, they, they do start name calling, they do call you out for being terrible. If you actually look at my match history right now, you'll find an Elise game where I didn't play so well. My whole team was flaming me. I mean, my score was fine. In fact, I had the only kills on our team. Like, I think I had like six of our ten kills. I was like six and six by the end of the game. But my teammates were very, very upset with me. But by Because I didn't have very much farm. Really at all. I was playing with Dark Harvest, and I was also playing with a friend. I was playing with a friend to play support. And by the way, I just hit Emerald. Woohoo! So this is my second time being Emerald. I've been Emerald every uh, split so far that it has been a thing, I believe. I don't usually grind. I usually get placed somewhere in the middle of Platinum. Well, back before Emerald was a thing, I usually got placed high gold. I'll make my climb to Platinum. And then I would sometimes go for Diamond, and my peak was like Plat 1. I never really put in the total amount of games necessary. Is this bot lane low? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna pass into this bot lane. I got my three camps. They're kinda low. This won't push too quickly. I have my I have my repel. We're gonna repel on onto somebody here. Yeah. Auto. Let's go for we'll get that lad after. Okay. Auto W, and we got the first blood. I wanted to farm two Dark Harvest stacks there, but I I was kind of reading it. And it looks like we also had a little bit of lag there, no? So we buy boots, we buy Dark Seal, we run out there. One thing about Teemo is that Teemo can a lot of times get solo kills. So my bot lane knows that I'm, I'm switched on. I set up, I was pathing away for them, away from them, but they were low health, so that's an easy, easy set up. I'm, I'm watching mid. But now, it looks like I might have two, two strong lanes to play around. Hopefully. Auto WQ. It's only the very th first three and a half minutes. People put too much stock into what happens now. Except, what is funny is that sometimes what happens now is important. Like, when you're playing a Dark Harvest style champion, like I am, it is very important. But if you're playing, like, Teemo or something in the grand scheme of things... Yes, the first four minutes matter, but like it's really about what you do. You know, shroom placements, late game team fights, assassination attempts. Okay. I'm assuming this all will be gone. It's a Viego. But maybe his Krugs are up. They are. They just spawned. That is an adaptation I've made as a jungler. Being a little bit smarter about my counter jungling. If I had the timers thing that everybody else uses, I'd be it'd be over a GG. This should be a free gank. It's not low, but it should be a free gank nonetheless. Hey, cocoon. You. I have my queue up. And I can flash out. Ooh, a little bit of lag there, but we do survive. 
way back. Hopefully we can get back sooner rather than later here. Viego should be pathing this way. He could be on Dragon. Let's get my pen boots. I'm not liking that little bit of stutteriness, but... It should be fine. We're 2-0. Two, oh, two Dark Harvest stacks, two Dark Shield stacks. Got a clean dive off there. Good job, Cat. Well played, Cat. Sorry for dropping aggro. I shouldn't have dropped aggro there. I didn't realize that she was going to burst. Well played. They take the Cloud Drake. I got two kills for that. He got a, he got a full clear off. Even more full clear off. Um, one Scuttle Crab and a Drake. But what I can do now is I'm going to play for the Grubbies. And I'm going to maybe play for a gank mid, but I, I want to take another camp here. I want to be level 5 at least. Because we're entering the point where Vigo could be level 6. And that would be terrible. If Vigo gets resets, the game ends. Especially if he gets at least resets, that matters. Okay, all, my mid lane and my top lane both got shove. Absolutely incredible plays. Maybe UQ. Oh, I didn't get my Dark Harvest stack off on him. Which is sad. He's gonna agree for this. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna dish this red. And I'm actually going to fight him at this. I'm gonna dish this. I'm gonna fight him at his red. Yep. Completely push him off. He, he has to leave. He can't stay here. I repel. I think this is a much better play. Yeah, my, my laners, just, they're, they're, they're go, holding off pushing their lanes. That's fine. Both my laners got shoved for the fact that they played it that way. It's one grub to one grub. He used his smite for the grub. I can't... He can smite while stunned, so... It is what it is. Q smite. It's okay to use Q smite at 612 HP on that on that objective, because I technically will do more than that Viego if he doesn't get an auto off. So Q smite is fine. Auto WQ this camp. Wait for max Q up. Time it with an auto attack. Okay, I've got camps to clear. I want to get my camps off the map every once in a while. You don't have to. You don't have to always be clearing. You don't have to always be ganking. You need to have a mix. That's the key with jungle. You can never be. I don't think too far on one end or the other. Now you don't always have to be ganking. It can be you know clearing and playing for objectives or something like that. I'm. I'm gonna play around this. I think. I'm gonna, oh, I missed my cocoon. That's what it is. Okay, just let him know that I'm there. I wanted to change my E to... I usually have it on Quick Cast with Indicator. That makes it a little bit easier to hit, in my opinion. Take my red. This will give me level 6. Vigo's already level 6. He's got 10 CS on me. Yeah, I probably should have roamed down to this, but... I have to get my red eventually. I think the wave will crash. They're going to get back. Oh, no, they don't back. Auto Q. This isn't warded, I don't think. Oh, I'm so late to this. So late to this party. Just walk up as far as I can. Go off the wave if need be. W. E up over the top. There. We get one. I think we back here. We have 1,500 gold to spend. It's a nice chunk of some stuff. I think it's Hextech Alternator here. Into Aether Wisp. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, it's back again, Blue. We're 3-0. Three, you know, three Dark Harvest stacks. Four Dark Seal stacks. It's really not too bad. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab Blue and then make my way to Dragon.
WQ. I only have time for one camp, really. Before I have to run over there. But I have boots. Sor sork shoes, so I'm, I'm, I'm quick. Plus, on top of that, Aether Whisk gives me 5% movement speed. So this, this Elise build is very, very quick. Give me more. Stall him. If Timo can attract that jungler's attention for longer. Oh, my W did hit there. That's nice. Auto W. When you're clearing the, uh, the fire dragon, make sure you stand on the other side of it. Check to see if you have anything to repel to around. I'm gonna keep the I'm gonna keep the crab up, so that way I can have something to repel to. Hey, don't hit my don't hit my little guys. Focus on me. I'm who you want. I'm who you're after. All right, get ready to Q smite it. Chasing an Akali doesn't really seem that appealing to me. I'm gonna I'm gonna fight him. Uh, no, no, I'm I'm done. I'm okay. Katarina wants in. Nice exhaust. He's a, he's. So I won't say exhausted, but he's he is stunned. You. Okay, I wanted to grab that next one, but oh, this Kali can probably kill us both. I'm just dropping as much damage as I can now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm out of here. Bye, Kali. Don't wanna, don't want to speak to you. Don't want to talk to you. Okay, I have repel. I can go up. Well played. Well played to my team. There we go. I'm gonna grab my Lich Bane. It, I heard one of like the top junglers, I think it was a stream or it was a... Maybe it was the LCS or something where they said jungling is just the race to the first item. And I'm 5-0, 63CS. I'm only 3CS down the full clear Viego. I have my first item with a boots. With, I also stopped to get boots and dark seal, so it's an absolute jungle gap in emerald. So like, I'm just wondering if I really put my mind to it and I really focus, how high could I climb? He gets the grubbies. Not concerned about grubbies. They don't have like a like a, a hardcore split pusher. I don't think. So right here, vehicle to grubbies. They're not really going for any plays, but I'm I'm ready for this Akali to try to roam. I don't know. I'm just going to try to see this. I don't want to waste too much time here. Actually, the mid lane was volatile. Akali is still strong. I'm on the way to this. She just used her shrouds. This is when Akali's at her weakest. I need to get involved in this. Nice job. I'm going to go. I'm, I'm going to go see what I can do here. Vigo's going to walk probably into me. Hit him with Cocoon. Auto W. He's gone. Okay, that's a one shot. That time I didn't need any help. As you go later into the game on Elise, you get more and more damage. But like the whole thing that, like, Elise doesn't scale. I'm like, what are you talking about? Elise scales. That's 10 stacks Dark Seal. It makes Magi a solid purchase. I will hold this for this Katarina. Katarina notoriously can't shove that quickly. At least is a fantastic laner. So you can hold you can hold lanes very easily. Alright, skip return out here. What I will do is auto reset this. Where Viego might just run to the bot lane. I want to get this Rift Herald. Timo, Timo is winning that? Can't tell. I think Vigo is here. Yeah, I think he's here. I got 900 smite. Time it with this bug. Oh. oh okay, we did get it. Timo does go down. The Zareth is actually full HP. Shut down. Okay. Go over the stun with my repel.
There's no reason to go for anything more crazy than that right there. Plates are gone. I don't need to stick around for that tap, tap wave. Let's grab the blue. Auto Q. Auto W. Smite it. Ooh, they, they get an objective bounty, which is tough. They're really that far behind. A lot of that gold must be wrapped up in me, so I gotta make sure I play well here. I really thought they might have been taking my red there. They were not. Aurora is dead. Kaisa is top. I'm going to start this off. If Viego wants to show up, we're going to try our best just to outplay him. I'm going to go for a kill here because I don't have a smite. I'm just going to go for a kill. Kick a coon. That, let, that lets double bomb land. We're going to repel up over the top. That's fine. I'm going to go for the dragon here. There's Aurora. Doing Aurora things. That's her ultimates. Okay. And Katarina just getting a free shove off in the mid wave. If, th if this Vigo shows up again, I think he just dies. We're low health, but we have repel. He can't jump onto us. Auto Q. Auto W. 900 is the smite again. This time we're going to be a little bit more safe about it. There. I have 2200 gold to spend, but the whole team is wrapped up, is, is around here trying to make a play. This is a situation where you want to be with the squad. This repel up. You down. Oh, flash out. Yep, that's a bad situation to be in. Cocoon Lance. Oh, I gotta, I gotta run. I have 1k bounty. BBB. I can't be. It's not working. Oh. There we go. 1k bounty. There we go. Gotta let my team know that. That gives them information that they require. Go Magi's. I'm going to go Shadow Flame. They're getting... Because also I have so much gold wrapped up in me, this is going to have to be a hard carry. Because they're getting a ton of gold on other spots in the map for getting objective bounties, which is craziness, by the way. Don't go for anything silly. I don't have flash. Just repel onto this camp. Auto WQ. You're like, why do you... You're just, you're just taking a camp. I take it so seriously. It's like... I Every moment of this game, when you're trying to snowball, is measured, calculated. You don't just you don't just do full clears really nilly. You gotta be thinking what you're doing. Kali, I dare you to try. Like I absolutely dare you to try. That's what I thought. That Kali had a chance to go for a one shot and she didn't do it. I had Miss Cocoon and she had hit her E. Which allows her to dash to me, and then she could have dropped um her shroud on top of me and, and I she, I would have been in the pain zone. Instead, she does nothing. Q, repel onto this guy. Oh, I didn't get my repel off onto him. Okay, my, my W does not land, but we are going to go for this red buff. Auto W. Q. They have no wards around here. I'm going to Q, Q smite this bad boy. Hit Cocoon. I don't want to go too crazy. Yep. That was nice. Akali goes down. She's the most important member to get killed. They have a lot of range. I got to be careful about what I do here. Yep. My squad wants to back. We took a lot of stuff there. I'll take their blue. Auto Q.
Dude, these camps are objectives as well. Especially these these blue buffs. Alright. Let's take this red. I think my team already has a set of reds, but we'll get a, a nice refresh on our, on our squad's reds here. Auto W. Auto Q. I'm gonna back. Oh, I need I need 1500 gold or I need a little bit more gold. I could probably go up there for gold, but I'm, I really want to back. It's a, not the best back timer. I need to get the shadow flame. So right now, if we take the stack of the items, I'm at one and some change. And this Viego. Let's take stock because I I got my item. Viego is at. I can't tell because he's got Timo's items. He's at one and some change. I'm on a power spike. I think I want to go fight. Actually, with Dragon coming up soon, this is a perfect time. Let's play for Vision inside this quadrant in the jungle. We'll try and clear out some Vision here. All right, play for this pick. There should be someone roaming over here eventually to, to contest this dragon. So we cleared all, all the vision. They have no idea. I mean, they have an idea that of we're we're around here, but they have no idea that we're actually on it. I know what lurks in the shadows. Okay, I think it's it's a smarter move. Just go ahead and take it. They didn't push into that side of the jungle. And we take it fast enough to just gonna make them punish. Get a free punish here. So we get the mountain drake. Our team all, every member of our team gets tank here. We know that they have nobody around. We also know they have no vision in this area. Took a little bit further up. Sweeping all the way across. Auto W. Oh, okay. Didn't have to. Didn't want to have to use two. I'm gonna hit this. Hit this wolf camp. Bring it out towards me. Auto WQ. And they have a lot of range. So Vigo's gonna be upset that I'm taking his camps, but he's probably gonna go for a gank on the mo. Yep, I'm just gonna stand here, let Mo do his thing. Repel, repel. Here we run. Yeah, let Timo do his thing. We're pushing up mid too. Let Timo, he, if he attracts that much attention, we can take uh, Baron for free. I've got a fast a Baron, so does Zaya. Timo's really low on HP though. Yeah, this is a bad call. We go for vision instead. Go for, play for a pick. Just death push it. Free kill. If they're gonna walk that far up, thinking that we're doing the Baron, they'll be they'll be back. Okay, we land our land our cocoon on Aurora. Chase down this Kaisa if we can. Nah, she's gone. I wish I dropped all my abilities in the Kaisa instead of the useless Aurora, but that's that's my bad. I saw I saw someone that I hit. Wow, they are having a, a deeply distraught emotional conversation in this chat box right now. This is crazy. Auto W. Auto Q. They won't, unfortunately, they won't FF because there's too much riding on just an Elise Snowball, I think. Nice job to the Zillion. Oh, I missed my cocoon. 
stay inside the zone for a second. Yeah, she doesn't want a slice of that. I don't want a slice of her either, to be honest with you. W, give my zillion some time. There we go. Auto W, nice. Well timed by that zillion. The Zareth ults have been pretty good this game, actually. Nice vision plant. Thank you. Appreciate you. I get to destroy three wards for that. It's craziness. What a fourth. Okay, let's do this. I have 20 stacks magis. I could go for even more. Auto W. I will get shredded for this. Auto W. I am the jungler though. Hopefully I can tank up well enough. Q W. We wait for the smite. It's 1200. There. I'm just gonna be. I want to get my. I want to get to my seeker's arm guard. It's super important to for me to not throw the game. <laughs> we have soul in 109. We can use the Baron to push waves and meet up there. I'm feeling pretty good about this game to be honest. 1003. It's an absolute destruction. WQ. Give my squad some red buffs. We play for kills. How about we also can get our squad some blue buffs. Auto W. Auto Q. There's no reason to really play back. We, just playing forward is better. We're gonna go on to that guy. Um, his wolves are up though. Let's take these wolves real quick. Don't smite the wolves. Don't smite the grunt either when I go to take it. All right, go go. We spent. That's all we had to do. Walk into their jungle, clear the vision, chunk the Viego, and now he's got to go back to base. We get the free Drake. Auto W Q. No reason to smite it. Zaya's autos do more than anything now. Use my extra movement speed to get a second sweeper off. Ah, uh, shoot. All right. I'm going to take this Scuttle Crab over here. As it spawns, auto WQ. Again, in the late game, you don't really have to switch to human form. You can just walk around in spider form pretty much all the time. Really only switching to human to... Prepare for the one shot. Zillion doesn't have oracles either. We're both we're both on oracles cooldowns. I want to shove up this wave. I'll be the one on the split push for my squad. I've got Kaisa and Kaisa and this Doofus over here too. They can they can push up even with the Baron. Oh, I'm on vision here. A little bit nervous about pathing this way. I will flash if I have to. Oh, Katarina good goes flying in. I'm not gonna risk my life for it. E over the top. Nice. I think I got a dark harvest stack there, and I got two stacks for my magis. Where's their last member? I'm assuming they're in the fountain. They're not in the fountain. That's odd. Oh, it's right there. That's fine. We can just go over the top here. Uh-oh, that's not good. I've got to get out of here. Got to get out of here. Oh, nice flash. Thank you, flash. I haven't had to use it in so long. Oh, another Miss Cocoon. These last few have been a little bit rough. I don't have Repel. If she jumps on me, I'm probably dead. Thanks, Akali. I appreciate you. <laughs> She doesn't probably she doesn't know that. You know, she's just trying her best. There we go. There Ellen Lance. 25 stacks, Magis. Let's go. 11-0. Let's clean let's finish it out clean. Don't get hit by the Zareth Q. Pick a coon. WQ. I'm just gonna leave. See you later. Absolutely not. Oh, the zillion R. Oh my gosh. It's, 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 it doesn't stop. It rains in. 
Let's go. Thanks, Zillion. Appreciate you. You're that dude. We're that- we're those dudes together. Okay. So again, this is this kind of game where I'm communicative from the beginning of the game. It works out well. My team likes me. If we were to... If we were to not play well and our early plays go poorly, then my team would hate me. And I would get called the worst player on the server, <laughs> which happened yesterday. In an elo lower than this one. Just saying. By an 0-8 Scion top. 0-8-0. -oh. He was playing Baus, FFS play style. But 0-8-0. -oh. And he he didn't have uh, 10 CS per minute. He didn't even have 9 CS per minute. I don't think he even had 8 CS per minute. Like, his CS was just bad. And it, I mean, I did path away from him and troll the game. But, like, what do you want from me? Yeah, I was like 6-6. Six and six. Either way. We push up in here. I'm just looking to drop damage down. But that's all I care about. We need someone to push this wave over here. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go. Auto W. Okay. We go for the full one shot on that Aurora. Oh, we don't get it. At least you can take towers really, really quickly. Go for the tower here. Back off a little bit. Ooh, I got I got tagged. Yeah, that would have been a very bad situation for me. Let's go ahead and try to heal up off of this. Auto W. In spider form, we heal. WQ. Auto. We're chilling. Looks like our, our Mo is going up there. Katarina sees blood. She's seeing red. Oh, she's, she's seeing red. Holy cow. She's going off. Let's just, let's just go take the Baron. If they face check into us, we just kill them. Forget about the red buff. I have Zhonya's now, so I can tank this up a little bit better with my extra armor. WQ. Zaya absolutely shreds this thing. Auto W. I can't buy anything if I go back, so I'm not going to. I would, I would go for that Scuttle Crab, but I think it's a suicide mission. I'm all alone up here. Scuttle Crab just spawned. Hit this. They're not on it. It's a ward in the pit. Okay. How many wards can we sweep? Aurora, do not do it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay, now we go for the Elder Drake, and we should we should win this game. I don't know what Elder Drake does. Oh, it massive AOEs. Okay, that's cool. I don't know where Viego is. He could be back behind here. Oh, he's, he didn't try, though. I didn't even get a smite off. Okay. His cavern says, jungle is gapped. It is what it is. She's calling us out. She's saying that we're the MVP. All right, we just repel over the top. This is an easy kill. Oh, no, it's not. I, I'm going to enter my Zhonya's phase. I'm dead. I live. Okay. Whoa. I'm the main target. Nice, Katarina. Let's go. Way to play it. I mean, it is what it is. That Xerath is... And he, I mean, he is an artillery strike. He did his job this game. He's definitely an artillery strike. Oh, I was gonna go for the all-in on that. Akali. Wow, really nice game. We're gonna check the damage charts. I think Katarina probably out out damaged me, but we'll see. We'll see. So the damage charts, we did not actually come that close to being the highest. There's Zareth. It looked like he was an artillery cannon. I had more than anyone besides Zareth on their team. But as far as our team, it was Teemo that was shredding. Katarina doing a great job as well. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!